Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be working on the player view. So basically this is just when uh, you can play, pause, skip to the next track, and all that kind of jazz. Um, so today we're going to be designing it. The net, tomorrow we're going to actually be hooking up to Firebase, and that's going to be dope. So yeah, this is what our final product is going to look like. I think it looks quite nice, and it changes according to which album we are currently in. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so returning back where we left off, we had this view, right? So now we want to create it, so when we click on a song, it actually moves over to a different view. So let's go ahead and create a new file. This is going to be a Swift file, and let's go ahead and call this file the player view. Let's create that. And inside of this player view, I want to go ahead and say import Swift UI. Then inside of this import Swift UI, I want to say um, struct. This is going to be my player view, colon view. And then inside of this, I'm going to say var body some view. And then we'll just put some text in there for now. Um, basically what I want to do with this player view is kind of what Spotify does where they actually have kind of a uh, the album art on the front and then the background is kind of the album art again but it's just blurred and so I'm going to do that with what we have as well and so first off we need the album art right but I'm not a huge fan of having the album art with the tech with the title on there again so what I'm going to do is first off of course we need the album so first let's deal with that let's say var album colon album and then var um, this is going to be song colon song and then we're going to feed in the album and there we have it so now inside of the album art uh, structure that we created earlier I want to create another variable in here called is with text and this will be a bool variable so if, there, if we want there to be text, if we don't want there to be text, we can specify whether or not we want that. And so going back here, right in front of our Z stack, which holds our text and whatnot, we're going to say if is with text is equal equal to true, then we will display this. Otherwise, we won't. Like so. Now this is going to cause an error up here. So we need to say comma is with text. And then we're going to set this one equal to true. But inside of our player view, we need to make sure that we call that there as well. So player view is with text uh, will be equal to true, false on this case. Then I'm going to put all of this inside of a Z stack. And then right behind the album art, I'm going to add an image, which is going to be my, my album image. So I'm going to say album.image. And then I'm going to say this is dot resizable. And then we're going to say dot edges ignoring safe area will be equal to all. And then in front of this, I'm going to add the blur. Now with the blur, you can add certain styles. I currently like the dark style a lot. And then we say dot edges ignoring safe area. This is going to be all. And then with our album art here, we're going to want to put everything into a V stack. Then right after the album art, we're going to add some text with the song name. And so basically we're going to have the album art and then beneath that, we're going to have the text. And then after the text here, we're going to add a spacer. And then before the album art, we're going to add a spacer as well. Then after the second spacer, we're going to add a Z stack. Now this is going to be the place where we actually have our pause, play, and a bunch of other buttons down there. Now with the Z stack here, I want there to be kind of a white background. So I'm gonna say color dot white dot corner radius will be 20 and then with a shadow of the radius of 10. And so this is gonna add some separation and it's gonna look really nice inside of our application. Then on top of the Z stack, we're going to add a button. Now this button will have an action, right? So let's go ahead and create a function and let's go ahead and create a couple functions while we're at it. So we have the play pause function, we have the next function, and then we have the previous function. Then once those are in there, let's go ahead and connect those functions up to the various buttons. So going back to our button up here, we're going to say the function is self.playPause. And then on top of this button, we're going to add an image. And of course, this is going to be a system image. So uh, I'm going to use from the system play.circle.fill. Um, it's from SF Symbols, and it looks really nice. And then we need a way to tell whether or not our music is actually playing. So let's go up to the top here, and we're going to say at state var is playing colon bool will be equal to false and once that's there uh, just like we did on our animation video earlier uh, we can say is playing if it is playing then we'll have our pause dot circle dot fill but we'll fall back to the play dot circle dot fill if the music is not playing 
Then once we have this, uh, we should be able to say dot resizable on our image. And that'll just make it fill the entire frame of our button. Then going to the frame of our button, we need to say dot frame with the width and height of 70. And I think that sounds pretty good to me with the alignment of center. Then once that's in there, let's go ahead and copy and paste that three times so that we get our three buttons. And then let's put all of those inside of an H stack so that they're side by side. First off, I do want to change the images of our next button. So what kind of next button do we want to use? That's kind of the question here, right? So let's make it an arrow. I think use the arrow dot right dot circle, not the fill, but the just the circle itself. Let's go ahead and use those. So arrow dot right dot circle. And then for this one, it's going to be the arrow dot left so dot circle. Then we can also change the color of these by messing with the foreground color. So I don't want them to be blue, that's the default. So I'm gonna go ahead and say dot or color dot black. And then we'll set the opacity to 0 0.2. And then going through this, let's go ahead and take that, copy that, put that down here and we have the opacity there. And so now when I click on the play pause, I want it to play and pause. So I'm gonna say self dot is playing uh, dot toggle. Uh, that's just for simulation purposes. We're actually gonna really change that in the future, but for now it works. And so now that we have that, we need to move over to this view somehow, right? So let's go back over to our content view and let's go down to our song cell and if we didn't add this before, you should have var album and var song inside of your song cell. Uh, that way, when we call, let's go ahead and put in a navigation link, and let's put in the destination and label. But yeah, so when we call uh, the player view, we need to feed it what? Our album and our song, so let's go ahead and do so. Album, song. And then we take this, copy that, back there, boom, put that all in there, and that is how the song cell should look. Now what this is also going to do with our navigation link is turn our song cell blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and say dot button style uh, will be equal to the plain button style. And that way, um, it kind of doesn't interfere with the color of any of the items inside of the cell itself, and it looks good. And so let's go ahead and try building and running this and let's just see how this looks. Okay, so now we have it so that we have songs. When we click on a song, it moves us over to this view and we kind of have our album art, the album art behind, and also the song. Now one of the things that I do note is I don't like this thing being raised above the bottom. And also I don't like that the song is, bo is black. So let's go ahead and fix this. Back over to our player view here. We should be able to mess around with that a little bit. So first off, uh, in between our text here and our spacer, I'm going to shrink down this view just a tad because it's a tad too big. I'm gonna make it 200, like a frame width of 200, or height, I should say. So frame width height, let's go ahead and say, let's not mess with the width, but let's mess with the height here. So let's make it 200 with the alignment of center. And then we also want to say with this one, we say dot edges, ignoring safe area. And then this is just going to be bottom. Now, another thing that I do want to note here is we need to change the, the, the text color, right? So we're going to say dot font. And I'm going to say this is going to be a title, first and foremost. I'm going to say font weight will be equal to dot light. Um, you can always mess around with that stuff if you want. And then the last thing is I want to say dot foreground color will be equal to dot white. Now let's build and run that and we should be able to see um, a better look of our player view. All right, so there we have it. We have our different albums. When we click on these albums, if you can remember, it switches up the songs as well. And so with this, when we click on an album, it messes with the songs, which then transfer over here as well, which is quite nice. And so here, as you can see, we have the album art, we have the play, pause, that stuff works. Um, this is all connected to the same button right now, but uh, let's go ahead and fix that real quick. So let's say self.previous here. And then this is also self dot uh, next. And then I also don't like how big these buttons are, and this is just a personal preference. But on this middle button, I'm going to add some padding. And then I'm also going to go to these buttons and let's make them 50 by 50. And so here we are, let's click on album two. Let's go over to the song. 
And once we're here, we can kind of see song 23, it's nice and light. We also have the play, pause, and the next, and so forth. And that's kind of, that looks really nice to me. And again, that works for each of the album arts that we have worked with, which is dope. Anyway, that's it for part two. Took me three, four times of recording to actually get this work done, so sorry if I sound a little bit annoyed, but I got it out. Turns out my MacBook was like overheating and whatnot. I don't know, it's annoying, but we'll figure it out, it's all right. If only I had enough money for like a giant Mac Pro, oh, that'd be nice, but say lovey. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys have an enjoyable day and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.